in my, it doesn't mean Fox, anything to me. No. I mean, it does, you know, well, well, Jersey it ads your, are your little I'm immune sister to it. who goes, Hey, I watched the Celtics game, Matt. Uh, I saw DraftKings is on there. Should I bet with them if I want to make a bet? Maybe I hear you keep talking about women's sports. I was going to bet on this game. Like, it's possible. I'm not saying the branding there, is, branding works. I'm not debating that advertising works. Branding. You works. and I know that branding works. These dumbass just, sports books don't. Know that. <laughs> I don't know if having my ad or having a company in you know sponsoring on a jersey changes much. I, I I don't know what that does. So like the sports books getting told or the casinos getting told, hey, you cannot no you can't advertise anymore on jerseys. To me, I would feel. One angle, I will say this. I do like it only because kids tend to wear jerseys a lot more than adults. And so you're okay. teaching a kid early already about the gambling companies. So they have name recognition. So when they are presented with a chance to bet at a place, they already have they already have that brand awareness of who it is. So it's right. the fun word, the grooming word. That I can understand. Yeah, well... We'll address this more tomorrow okay. when we have some more time. But I uh, I think it's a precursor of things to come. The lines got too blurred too fast. It's too much in your face. And somebody's got to be held accountable for all the responsible gaming stuff. That's the part of it you, know, you have to address. So what's the easy thing to do? Tell the books you can't be on the team's uniforms. What's next? Well, wait, we put in books in every fucking stadium. Hold on. Now they can't be open on game day. Oh, you know, they're going to pull back. We're seeing it now. It's just, it's, we'll, again, we'll discuss it more tomorrow. Okay.